Hi guys. Hi all my Aquarians. Welcome to your bonus love reading for the last 10 days of September. I hope you guys are doing well today. Okay, I'm, I've shuffled uh, your cards before, but I'm going to just live shuffle them once more. And let's see what the energies are that come up for your love reading for this month. So I'm going to make, you know, um, one pile for you, for you and one pile for your person, okay? And the last pile will be uh, the outcome, what may happen by the end of September for you and your person, okay? I also have this new pack, the Love Oracle, which I'm going to use today. I've been charging it over the weekend and um, figuring out how to use it the best and got some pretty good results from it. So I'm going to use it for this reading for you guys. Thank you so much once again, Aquarians, for all the views on the other video. And for those who haven't watched it, I'm going to link it down below in the description. All right, so let's begin. I'm just gonna check whether this, my spirit guides want me to, um, they, if, if they wanted me to, you know, make the card straight, but they want me to leave it upright. Uh, sorry, reversed, okay, so, okay, let's begin. So Aquarius, um, this month, the last 10 days of September, it looks like you're definitely looking for love or you're in a relationship at the moment, okay? With someone who could be your divine counterpart. You know, the two of cups always gives me that twin soul energy, okay? Um, you know, a soulmate or a twin soul, really, when I see the two of cups in a, in a love reading, okay? So this is someone you have a karmic past with. This is someone, and I'm not just talking about this lifetime. I'm talking about a past life connection, okay? Um, this is someone you deeply feel that love and that connect and that, you know, the something which you just, it's inexplicable. You just can't explain how you feel but you feel it so deeply, like, you know, the deepest corner of your soul, okay? Um, it does look like this person is definitely um, moving slowly towards you or is taking, you know, his, it's ta he's taking him or her taking their time, I would say. Okay, so there's a knight of pentacles here in their energy. So they seem to be coming with a tangible offer, but moving slowly because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight out of all the knights in the tarot, okay? But you know, he also has fire in him. He also has a fire element in him. So he's definitely working hard and putting in a lot of him or her, you know, putting in a lot of effort, but it's kind of a well thought out effort, okay? It's not something impulsive. Um, now, this person could have definitely have heavy earth placements, like they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, okay, or even a, uh, it could be a fire sign, okay, um, in their chart, like a Sun, Moon, Venus, or Ascendant, okay. Um, now, in your energy, you definitely seem to... Um, you know, have gone ahead in your mind with this relationship in that sense. Like you guys have definitely taken to the next step. It's not like you guys have just met. Okay, it's in the works already. There's a collaboration already going on. It's a three of pentacles energy. Um, it's a positive 
step towards establishing the four of pentacles or five of pentacles or six of pentacles energy ahead okay um it's definitely something which is happening the universe is making it happen and you're making it happen by your actions okay there's a proactive um step that you guys are taking towards this okay mm, and mostly you aquarius okay now the chariot here is reversed okay so i'm wondering if um you know maybe this person was your person was very imp kind of not impulsive i would say but was very uh you know was coming at you at a very in a very aggressive manner or maybe you've had a past relationship where someone was being really aggressive and maybe this is not the method that this person is using that's for sure okay um it could be a slower way you know to kind of work at this okay i'm just going to uh see if i get some more cards to clarify this something wants to come out to clarify the chariot oh yeah okay so we got two cards um so there's one where it seems like this person seems to be carrying a lot of burden from the past okay there seem to be a lot of past wounds or something to do with the past relationship that is he feels like he's really caring you know like he has a he or him or her has will have a lot of uh, skeletons in their closet probably and they have a lot of pain accumulated from past experiences which they're not able to let go of okay which is probably why they're coming in slow but the offer is a very true one now you have the knight of cups here along with the knight of pentacles okay which means that yes it's a tangible offer um but it's a very emotional offer i mean like definitely there's love here okay and um you know the king of knight of cups sorry can also be a, a water sign so the person might have pisces scorpion or um cancerian energy in them and you know some of you guys might have uh, this energy in your chart as well besides being an aquarius okay so there seems to be some past trauma which is the reason why they're not coming in gung ho they're taking their time they're thinking about it okay you might not like get that you know get that immediate like reply to the messages you're sending they might kind of ghost you for a bit okay but they're just thinking about things okay they're thinking about how to do this because it seems like there's some kind of a renewal this could be something really from either your past lives or it could be something that you know it could be someone who you've had a relationship with before who's come back from the past and you guys are getting the green signal from the universe with the judgment card that there's a renewal of this relationship this karmic tie okay this karmic relationship okay now the eight of swords is out okay it does seem like aquarius you are kind of feeling a bit lost at the moment you're feeling like you don't know what's going to happen okay like you don't know what the outcome is going to be and it's kind of making you anxious all right now i'm going to take out one or two cards from the energy the energy oracle cards okay and see what they have to say okay one immediately want to pop out yeah yeah let me just see if they want me to turn this around or leave it reversed okay yeah so it seems like aquarius either you or your person mm, don't seem to be appreciating what they have you know they you're kind of looking at only the you're kind of looking at only the negative aspects okay of um you're kind of focusing only on the negative and the you know the darker side of what's going on you're not really focusing on what's in front of you which is a garden you know it's a garden with beautiful flowers so sometimes you know aquarius we must a feel lucky that we're able to experience this kind of love in this lifetime a lot of people don't find their twin souls a lot of people don't find their soulmates for their entire lifetime on earth you know 
So I think what this card is trying to tell you is that you need to learn to appreciate. You have to learn to appreciate that this has come back into your life, okay? And give it some time. Give it some time, okay? I'm going to get one more card. For you, Aquarius, let's see where your energies are at. Yeah, correct, yeah. So as I said, this is something that, you know, you've worked out, you've been planning, okay? And you got the strategy card that you're kind of in a more, you're in a more organized, you know, you're kind of like, you're in a more organized energy right now in your mind, okay? You're making a plan. It's a number 21 card. So I don't know if some of you are number threes or... Um, in the sense of number 12 or number 21 born on one of those days okay you're making a plan you have a whole strategy and it's a very good way to go about it okay it seems like you know exactly what you want here Aquarius okay you know exactly what you want and there could be let me see how the person your person is feeling right now okay So again, I got a number three card, okay? It says Blossoming Abundance, but it's in reverse. Let me just see where the energy is, okay, of this one. Mm -hmm. Right. So it is a similar story with the number 15 card, which is appreciation, is that one of you, and in this case, them, your person doesn't feel like doesn't feel like they're not feeling very good in their skin at the moment okay the card is blossoming abundance and if when it's in reverse it means the exact opposite okay is that they're not able to accept they're not able to to um openly welcome this situation because of some past pain some past baggage which has really deeply hurt them, okay, mm. in the past. Like, really deeply hurt them on a soul level. Um, they're feeling underappreciated. They're probably feeling even a little bit insecure. And they're not able to welcome the abundance into their life. Okay, I think they definitely may have a blockage in their heart chakra. Usually past wounds... Uh, create a blockage in the heart chakra and it prevents you from being open to love in the future you know it's very hard it's very hard I can I can sense the energy it's really it's a very thick energy right now okay just remember though Aquarius you have the you have you know the hand of the divine on on you on this relationship okay so don't forget that there's you have something to look forward to you have the judgment card which is very important in the outcome yes there will be some short-term anxiety and blindsidedness for now but you you guys are you guys are definitely going to this relationship is going to blossom it's going to blossom you just have to give it time you just have to have patience okay now, I'm going to use these Love Oracle cards. I'm so excited to use them. They just came in the mail two days ago. Okay, and they're beautiful. They have messages which probably your person wants to tell you. Okay, and especially if you're kind of not talking right now or if there's no communication, this is a good way to know what's on their mind. Okay, okay. Right. I hope you can see this. It says, I pulled away because I am overwhelmed with all of the things going on in my life. I pulled away because I am overwhelmed with all of the things going on in my life. Okay. Again, this burden might be some uh, something else as well. Not just the past, but this could also be just a lot of things going on in their life at the moment. It could be finances. It could be anything. Okay. It could be a lot of things. Okay. Let's get one more.
as I said, he, you know, this person, he or she, they feel a bit insecure, okay? You deserve better than me. You deserve better than me. So it is that feeling of not having the abundance, not having that, feeling like, you know, they're not good enough, okay? Yeah, and look at this. Soulmate, we got the soulmate card. So they feel as well that, you know, that you guys are soulmates, okay? Let's just get one more. Okay, so I don't know if something was one of the past relationships that they've had. Maybe you guys have had an, um, some kind of a... Um, I don't know if you guys have been on a break or if there's been something, but I got that this was just a fling card. So some, I don't know if they, it's, there's been something on their mind of this person, you know, um, you know, kind of pulled away for a bit, but it seems like it could be that maybe they were involved with someone and, and it was just a fling and they just wanted to, they just wanted to tell you this. Okay. So take it how it resonates guys. I'm going to just get one more. Okay. It says long distance. So it looks like for a lot of you, this person is at a distance. Um, like it's a long distance relationship. Okay, they could be far away from you right now like geographically okay um so that could be an issue here as well it could also be the reason why you're strategizing okay another one it says destiny is taking us down different paths so i think they feel right now your person feels that maybe Maybe they're feeling a bit let down with destiny, you know. Is that they feel that destiny is kind of separating you guys and sending you down. Guys both, guys both down, you know, different roads. And they're wondering how, you know, you're going to kind of make this happen. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you guys have been having some kind of arguments, but it says fights, arguments and conflict. Okay. This could be between you or this could be, again, to do with this burden that they're carrying here. I don't know if it's to do with something else in their life where they're having a lot of fights, arguments with um, at work or at home, okay? But there's definitely that energy, okay? I'm just going to take out a timing card to see, okay, if you guys are in separation at the moment, if you guys haven't seen each other in a while, when I'm going to take out three cards and see how it resonates as to when you guys will meet. Okay, there's one that flipped out immediately. It says October. You know, the knights, two knights being here, the knight of cups and the knight of uh, pentacles could also mean that this person is traveling to come and like might be coming to see you or might already be on their way. Okay, from wherever they are, since it's a long distance thing. Okay, I got another one. It says delays, but long lasting success would be there. Okay, and it says rainy season. So I don't know if that resonates. Okay, and there's some of you again. It says 20th Jan to 18th February. Okay, again, rainy season. So I have two cards for rainy season, one for October and um, one between 20th Jan and 18th Feb, I guess, next year, okay? Take it how it resonates, guys. These cards will resonate for different groups of you because it's so many Aquarians watching this video right now. I'm just gonna get one more, okay? Okay, yeah. Within the moon cycle, it says, okay, and it's a high priestess card. Um, so, it could be that some of you might even have this person, um, like you might be meeting this person before the 25th of September. 
that's when the the, the new moon cycle begin or like ends sorry begins okay so it could be even this month on the 25th of september so watch out for that guys okay let's see if the energy oracle cards want to say anything just you know to end the reading oops okay got the all tied up card now this is very similar to this energy can you see okay this is a number eight card and this is a 23 card all tied up so there's this sense of being blindsided a bit not being able to do anything about this situation it could be because you guys are far away from one another and it could also be because there's issues happening in your person's life in terms of, you know, the, the baggage that they're carrying from, pre, from the past. It could be a lot of financial issues. It could be anything, really. Okay. And I think it's making you feel a little uh, lost a bit right now. Okay. Um, a bit like you can't really do anything about it. You're stuck. Okay. It's a stuck energy. Okay. Right. I think, guys, what you need to do is really just focus, you know, focus on talking to this person, talking to your person, trying to have a conversation with them, okay? Trying to figure out what's wrong, you know, maybe if you talk to them, try and talk to them, they might open up about what's going on in their life, okay? Let me just get one more card off the top of the pack, okay, to see, okay. So you have the cornucopia which you couldn't have asked for a better card actually to end the reading. It's a number two card, okay? And this is like, this is a, a good luck card, abundance card. It just means that all the work that you've been doing here in this three of pentacles energy towards this, you've been doing inner work, you've been doing spirituality, you've been working on a whole aspect of this relationship, whether it's inward or outward, whether it's the yin energy or the yang energy, okay? You've been doing all of that and here's this card to tell you that the universe has acknowledged your work and you're going to get the whole shindig. You're going to get abundance, okay? You're going to get all the abundance that you want, all right? Now, I'm going to just take out a couple of, um, you know, I have these beads with like, letters on them so let's see if we can get some kind of initials or you know take it as it resonates it may not resonate with everyone okay i'm just gonna get four of them um okay the first one is g g okay the second one is c okay. the third is r Okay, and the fourth is L. Now, these might be initials, okay, of you or your person, or it could be uh, a letter that's in their name, okay? So, take it how it resonates. And I'm just going to also get a couple of these, okay? I'm just going to close my eyes and see which ones come into my fingers. Okay, yeah, oh, okay. So... First, I got the mermaid. Definitely some sort of Pisces energy happening here with the Knight of oh, Cups, okay? I got the mermaid. I got a cat. I don't know if that's significant to anyone, okay? And I got a little angel. I got an angel, okay? I think that goes very well with this card, the judgment card, because there's an angel here. So it just means that I think, you know, Aquarius, your angels are definitely looking after you, okay? They're, they're around and they're, they're here to make this happen, okay? They're assisting you. They're assisting you with this. And so is the universe with the cornucopia card, okay? And can you see there's a little, there's a little angel here too pink one so i think the theme runs pretty deep and i think that this reading was wonderful and i hope that this helped you okay um 
I also have a little rose quartz angel here, which I kept out for the reading. Um, and I hope that all of these messages resonated and I hope this helped you. Okay, remember that this is from uh, for the t uh, last 10 days of September. And um, as long as you guys give me the highest views on my other videos on the Aquarius, you know, the regular Aquarius Zodiac video, uh, even next month, I'll always come up with a bonus um, video for you guys. Um, please do hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. You know, if you subscribe, it's much easier for me to tap into the energy of the collective consciousness of my channel. Okay, and my messages will be way clearer and way more accurate. And do press the bell icon as well so that you see when I post a new video. All right. Please comment. I just really want to know. I really want to know what's going on in your lives. I would love to know if what I said was in any way true to you. All right. Take care, Aquarians. A lot of love to you. Enjoy the rest of the month. See you. Take care very soon. Bye.